Three from three tonight against Claire Morris. Played some great football for most of the game. There was a spell in which the play got a little bit untidy, particularly in the second half. And kind of let Claire Morris back into it a little, but a pretty much a deserved win. Some great goals tonight. But the second half was certainly a blistering start with three goals inside the first four minutes. But how do you sum up the game yourself? It was a good game. You know, at the end of the day, get three points is the main thing, but... We want to finish out games, trying to get clean sheets or just sloppy goals there at the game. So uh, I think we'll learn from it, we'll go to the next one and just keep on going. So, and um, when you look at the first half, Keen Halpin, he's having some season at the minute, chipping in with two Thunderbolts tonight. The second one particularly um, outstanding of, of a strike. Yeah, brilliant strikes by Hal. Uh, first one and second one are brilliant. Uh, he's been doing brilliant so far. So. Uh, I think it's, it's a collective thing as well, we've been working hard as a team, it's just getting the ball up there and making sure we get shots on target finishing and we've been doing well so far. So credit to Hal, credit to all the lads for getting the goals in, we just have to keep on going now. Kevin Kettrick, I say if you're having your half-time cup of tea, I say you would have nearly dropped the cup out of your hand, he scored that quick in the second half, probably the quickest goal I've got on a live stream from a kick-off. I'd say it's on the record, Kenny, all right. Uh, you weren't expecting to get a goal that quick, but you know we take it. But it just goes back to we got the third, we got the fourth, and then we conceded one nearly straight after. So we just need to we just learn from this game today and just try and stop giving away the silly goals and keep on working and try and stay tight as a unit. Uh, but look, we're a young team. <clears throat> we want to keep on going, keep on learning, keep on playing football, and it's only going to get better now. So I'm, I'm looking forward to the next one. Indeed, and the next one is what, Sunday away to Clunfad in the Connacht Shield semi-final and going by tonight's performance. Apart from the sloppiest spells in the game and con conceding the goals, i say you'd be looking forward to um, earn a place in the final. Yeah, that's the goal. Go up there on Sunday, get the win. Um, they're going to be a good side, they're going to be tight. I know it's a tight pitch. Uh, they played there many years ago, so... Uh, Look, we just have to go up there, be at our best, uh, get, try and get the win, that's all that matters, and secure our final. And there's rumours going around that, um, that Clunfair supporters can rival their supporters of Red Star, Belgrade, or SNF with their ultras, yeah, with pyros and all that. We won't go into politics like that now, can we? But uh, yeah, oh, look, it'll be a good game, I've heard about the supporters, so yeah, we uh, uh, can't wait now for the game on Sunday. And neither can we, and of course it's a... It's a big weekend between uh, more cup games between the B team, the development squad, and we cannot allow tonight going by without a mention for the under ratings. They have the Connacht Shield final on Saturday against Maria on Moore B in Tum at 3 o'clock. And there's a few lads from tonight that will be involved in that. Yeah, so best of luck to the lads on, on Saturday. So, uh, games in tune, Kenny, isn't it? Correct, yeah. Hopefully, we can get supporters going. I can't go and work on myself, but I think it's important that we get supporters to the match. Uh, best of luck to the lads. There are a few of them there today, they're, they're brilliant. Like, so, yeah, uh, I hope to get the win on Saturday. And another shout out we must do here is for the ladies' team. They had a great win here last Friday night against Ballina, and they're here again tomorrow night against Kilmore at quarter past seven in the league. And Okay, there was a small enough crowd here, but we're hoping to get more people down to watch the ladies. Yeah, look, it's uh, game tomorrow. Hopefully, people get down to it. It'll be good because the women's side haven't seen them a long time, Kenny. So, yeah, uh, hopefully, people get down and support them. Let's hope, and let's hope we'll have a, not only a long bank holiday weekend, but a great bank holiday weekend. And many thanks for talking to me. Thanks, Eddie. Thanks very much. Three wins from three tonight. Some excellent football with high levels of confidence attached to it, in, mostly in the first half. Second half, though, we were still playing some lovely football, but at times we allowed the standards to get a bit on the sloppy side, conceded more goals again. But for the neutral, I'm sure they were totally excited by what they saw. How would you sum up tonight's game? Uh, to be honest, we're, we're, we're thrilled. Um, it's been a tough enough start and an awful lot of games in a short space of time. The aim was the three wins at the beginning of the league. We've got those. We're, you know, nine points after three games. Uh, really, really pleasing. Uh, I thought we played some outstanding football. We mixed that in the second half with some very, very sloppy play, but it was tired play. Um, it's very, very hard to be critical of that group, the amount of football they're playing at the moment. Um, extremely young, playing 18s, playing with us, playing with Bs. And for them to start off the season as well as they've done, all we can give them is maximum credit. 
And of course, the football, when we were playing really, really well, the confidence was just running through their veins, literally. It was absolutely so joyful to watch that, to be honest, if, if you aren't here, you, you need to be here to witness, this, witness the football in the flesh. I agree. I heard someone comment, uh, we didn't realise people can play football as well as that at this level. Um, some outstanding, outstanding football. Um, some of the movement, some of the, you know, these patterns of play, some of the awareness of space, um, the touches. It's a pleasure to watch and I think anyone who came down to watch the game really, really enjoyed it. And to be fair, Claire Morris made a great game in the second half as well. They played slightly different to us, they were more direct, they played with a lot of, a lot of pace and a lot of physicality. And that was a great test for our lads, and I think, you know, on the whole, they, they, they managed to come through it. And again, fantastic learning for us, and uh, again, we roll on to the next game. And, of course, we do roll on to the next game, which is coming around on Sunday. A trip to Clunfad in the semi-final of the Connacht Shield. And on the basis of tonight's performance, when you look at the brighter side of the game, you would have to think to yourself, this should be something to look forward to. Bit of confidence in the squad. Clune fads will be a tricky side, no doubt. But with, the, with that sort of confidence, um, there shouldn't be much of a fear factor going into it. Um, you know, it's something we're certainly looking forward to. It's a semi-final of the Cup. You have to be excited as a footballer. I've been to Clune Fad many, many times. Uh, every time I've been there, it's been a battle. Um, the, the proud tradition in that club, the reached the FAI Junior Cup semi-final on occasion and um, they're very competitive in the Ross Common League and as I say, any time I've been there it's been an absolute battle and we've had to work incredibly hard to get out there and I expect this Sunday will be no different. Now, we are really an outstanding quality side and we should be full of confidence going there and we will be and um, you know, I think it's a big test for Clune Fad. it's also a big test for us but one more confident we can come through. And of course it's not just a big weekend for the first team on Sunday. You've got the, the ladies here tomorrow night against Kilmore in the league at quarter past seven. And they had a great win last week and they're looking to build on that. They actually beat the top of the table team last Friday night. Then on Saturday, you've got the development team here against Pertree. Then on Sunday morning, you've got the B team here against Ballyhane. And then on Saturday afternoon, you have got the under 18s in the Connacht Shield final against Maria and Morby in Toome Celtics ground. So. It's a busy weekend ahead. It's massive. And it's football, football and football. And what more could you want? It's great to see all the life back around the club. And the academy was here when we arrived this evening. You know, as you say yourself, the ladies are back in football tomorrow. They've added a big boost to the club. Um, it's a, a team I'm looking forward to watching myself in the, in the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm going to tune on Saturday. We're really looking forward to that game. That under-18 side has been outstanding for the club. Um, it's fed a lot of players. And um, Miles and Dave have back into the senior setup over the last two seasons. So, as much support as we can get down the tune to support those lads, I think they deserve it. And again, back here on Sunday for the B uh, side playing Ballyhane. Brilliant, lots of football. And add to that, we've got the C side playing Party. What more could you want? Fabulous. So, if if you if you if you really am hungry for football, you you might have the Champions League, you've the Europa League. Yeah, I might have the Premier League, you'd have even got League of Ireland, but there's nothing better. Whatever about watching the top clubs in your league, in the top leagues, supporting your local club and the bread and butter football, there's as much passion and pride in supporting a local team as there is in following one of the global elites. Yeah, towns like Westport love their local club. And we're so blessed there. I mean, the amount of games you can choose from over the weekend is fantastic. You can pop down and see bits of each game. You can pop down and watch, you know, whichever ones you want to. Uh, what a fabulous setting to do it in. And uh, as you said earlier in the interview, the quality of player on the show is really, really good. And uh, like that, every week in my household, we're picking the games we can get to, the games we can see. And uh, it's a big part of our week now. And uh, these boys are working so hard, and the girls, that um, how can you not support them? So it's certainly an exciting weekend, but back to tonight's game. The goal scorers, um, Keane Halpin, flying for him, and two absolute rockets this evening. The second one being a pure thunderbolt. Um, Kevin Kettwick, I say anyone having a half-time cup of tea with, with the time of his goal, I say the cup fell, off the, fell out of their hands and probably smashed on the ground. 
in shock and disbelief that she scored that quick. But the uh, finish from Killian White after a little, little, lovely little run two along the way, um, that was special. It was very special and no more than he deserves. Uh, if anyone's seen our, our three games, our first three games of the season, including um, some of the cup runs that we've had, Killian has been absolutely unbelievable. Uh, the physical presence he brings to that midfield, the organisation, the skill level, the quality that he has, and you know, I think is that his first goal. Um, it anyway. it would, I I don't think he scored too many, but yeah. if it's first, second, whatever, I think he can save it anyways, and well, he'll be looking back on it. Um, there's plenty to come from Killian. Yeah, I think he's only going to get better and better, and. Um, he should be very proud of his efforts at this point. He's had a brilliant Oscar trainer. He's brought that form back into us. He's having a huge influence in that group. And um, the club can be very proud of him. And another player worth mentioning, he got team got on team of the week alongside Kevin Kedrick and Ken Alpin is Noah Massey. His performances of late has been fairly influential in the club. I think everyone forgets that. Is it Noah? Is he 17 or 18? Um, he's so young, but I mean... Uh, he's a rock at the centre of our defence. He's one of the first names I put on on that list now. Um, his knowledge, he, his bravery, um, he's an outstanding player and it's frightening to think how good he can actually get. Even though it would, it would be, honestly, um, too much expectation placed on his shoulders if supporters called him the heir apparent to Joe Lawless. But you look, what, what an honour to be compared with such a player, but at the end of the day, it's the first three games done. We've got to challenge these boys. We've had a good start. Um, they've got lots of ability, they can do a lot of things again, but they, they've got to realise they've got to go back and work harder and harder. And um, as well as we played tonight and as well as we played in three games, we've had spells where we switched off and we, we take little breeders. And we've got punished every time we've done that. And um, we've got to resist the urge to do that. We've got to continue to work hard. We've got to continue to eliminate the mistakes from our game, probably be a little bit more ruthless going forward. So there's lots and lots for this group to work on. And they're aware of that. Um, but. For now, we can be happy of where we are and uh, look forward to the games ahead. Indeed, and we look forward to a long, exciting season and hopefully a great month ahead. And thanks very much once again. Thank you.